moment this week as the Sunshine State grapples with controversial lockout laws similar to those already pl in place in other states. The opposition says it will oppose the controversial changes, which means the support of crossbench MPs will be critical to the changes becoming law. Tim Collins has more. It's been a familiar catchphrase for all sorts of causes. Enough is enough. This time, Queensland's minority Labor government is hanging it on earlier closing times for clubs and pubs. If you reduce the trading hours, you reduce the amount of alcohol fueled violence. Those dealing up close with the consequences of alcohol and a short fuse gave the Premier the perfect picture opportunity today. I would hope, I would really hope that ourselves, AMBOs, hospital workers can go home a little bit earlier. Uh, and not be subject to the violence that they have been in the past. The LNP opposition doesn't want a bar of the changes, which would see late-night venues banned from serving alcohol after 2am. There's so many inconsistencies in this law. We've always said, provide the evidence, uh, address all these questions, we would look at it. Just forget about politics for one week. Just forget about politics for this issue. Stand there as mums and dads. Which means meetings today and more planned for tomorrow with a powerful cross-bench voting bloc will be crucial. The attitude of the LNP crystal clear in their attack ads going to air across Queensland from tonight. Palaszczuk and Labor still frozen at the wheel. Tim Collins, 10 Eyewitness News.